All barricades erected, area locked down. Hello, I'm Dr. Andrews. I'm head of the philosophy department at Stanton University. I've been asked to perform a metaphorical assessment of the recent Call of Duty Black Ops 2 multiplayer trailer, as released by Activision uh, Tuesday just gone, um, much in the way that we did an assessment of the Nope.avi video uh, early last 2011. I confess, when the gentleman first approached me for this project, I thought him off his rocker. Um, but to misquote Freud, a paycheck is just a paycheck. On a crude examination on this, you, you could assess this piece purely on the aesthetics and what you see visually as a game that's coming out in the future. Um, I would prefer to look at this on a more grander scale and say it's a piece of polar opposites. Um, a number of ways I can identify this. Uh, the first one I'd like to bring your attention to would be the runner. Um, I'll just uh, draw from my notes. Uh, the first instance that you see of a runner is at time index 6. You can see he's running, um, obviously, somewhat quickly, no, no doubt about that. Um, obviously, upon a fuselage and to then engage into his activities. Uh, you, you see this recurring theme with the jumper at uh, time index 24. Uh, he's obviously getting past a, a blockade to get to his objective. Um, following that, at uh, time index 115, you see the runner again. Uh, also exemplified as also at uh, 128 and also 143. Now, from this, I would see this as a representation of modern culture. Uh, we often find ourselves in a situation where it's busy, 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 rush, 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 what do I need to do next? Leaving very little time for our loved ones and our friends. It's always, where's the bottom dollar? What do I do next? Where do we need to go? But as I said, this is a film of polar opposites. As we were to watch forward to Time Index 20, we see the opposite of our runner, or hare, would be the tortoise. This is a gentleman who has entered combat and stopped and then chosen to observe the situation. And observing the situation, he's able to pick out perhaps the most minutest of details that would overlook him. I'm of course referring to Time Index 20, where he sees a gentleman hiding behind a crate. Uh, further, Time Index 27, we see a gentleman partly occluded by steam, but he's still able to pick out this person. Further, if we were to jump forward to Time Index 58, we see approaching three Spartans carrying shields as they enter battle slowly and methodically, not rushing ahead like the runner from earlier. They take up their positions and they engage the enemy. Obviously, whilst these three Spartans seem well approached and well equipped to handle the situation, it is apparent that when the enemy realises this, it will call in more advanced weaponry and tactics to outsmart and outmaneuver the Spartans. Uh, this would obviously lead on to the proposition that potentially, that obviously as seen in Time Index 143, would be seen very reminiscent of the birds by Alfred Hitchcock. No matter how well you're doing, there's always somebody willing to outthink you and put you back in your place. Uh, this would also be represented by the flyer you see at uh, Time Index 50. Obviously, when we move on from Time Next 50, we do also see there is the capacity to take revenge against people who have put us back in our place, as seen at Time Index 56. Um, obviously, this all puts a very bleak and uh, detrimental perspective onto things, which is exemplified by, again, at Time Index 147, this caption saying, The future is black. Now, personally, I'm not one to subscribe to the Orwellian state of thinking that suggests that no matter how far in the future we go, we're always going to reach a dystopian society. I would marvel rather my, put my further forward thinking to the more positive attribute as demonstrated at time index two minutes. Uh, you hear the, the protagonist with an internal positive monologue. Very rarely in modern society do you come across somebody with such a strong internal positive monologue. Uh, ask yourself this question. A. When was the last time you spoke to yourself? And B. What did it say? Was it positive or was it negative? At this time, in the two minutes, he is distinctly positive on the occurrence within the scenes. As I said, polar opposites always seem to come in a cycle. And this is always where I like to go back to time index four seconds in. 
you see the cyclic nature of the rotating windmill blades uh, going circling round and around and around. And I'm left wondering, perhaps is this a subtle metaphor by Activision to hint at the recurring theme and the recurring cycle of Call of Duty? Dare I say, come November we have a product launch. Okay. Then obviously fast forward to January we have the first inklings of the next project just on the horizons. Um, after this, in March and April, we have the first tantalizing bits of gossip and tit and tat. Then later, come July and August, we have the first visual representations to give us proof that there is something further out there. Obviously, as then information filters on through down the timeline, September and October, our appetites are truly wet, and then come November, November we have release, and the cycle continues. I am Dr. Andrews, and I shall bid you good night. Dugan.